awesome. Well, in doing research for the upcoming Vetrix radio episode uh, for Solar Quest and Space War, I came across this really cool Vetrix emulator over on Vetrix Fans Unite on their Facebook page. This thing is incredible. Now, it was done by Ralph Kornman. Right now, the version 0.2.6.0, and it's called Vetrix Online. There is a lot of neat features to this Vetrix emulator. I mean, if you've been out on a hunt for a Vetrix, you can't find one, you want to play some of the Vetrix games in a real easy emulator, this thing is awesome. Now, I've tried other emulators in the past, uh, and they do a good job too, but I'm really impressed with this one, mainly because of all the settings and stuff you can play around with. So let's go through some of the settings here. So we've got file, we can load a ROM, we can load overlay or a color palette. We can mess with our audio, we can mess with the master volume, we can actually turn the buzz up or turn the buzz down, which, you know, that's what the original Vetrix did. Set up your speaker configuration. Pretty cool. Pan is not enabled yet. The display, we can hide our border, like so. Show border. You can hide the menu, optimize the size, go full screen mode, scale to fit, rotation. You can rotate the screen around. For example, if you play a homebrew game, that requires you to rotate the the Vetrix display to its side to play. You can easily do it in this emulator. Pretty cool. Anti-aliasing level. Now what this does is it controls the amount of glow. I can turn it all the way off, like so, which that's what a normal emulator would show. Or I can simulate the glow again by turning it back on. That is so awesome. We can show the overlay or hide the overlay. We can select colors. We can select from a palette of colors or ROM based. We can select our tube size. And there's some additional settings you can mess with, like we can play around with the beam, the, uh, the CRT, the glow itself, make it glow more or whatever. You can adjust the overlay for its wear and tear and, and stuff. This is awesome. You control the ambient light in the room. So if I do this, I can turn the ambient light up and down. Pretty neat. That's coming soon for casing. Electronics, you can play around with that. It actually will make the vectors move around on the screen to simulate like you're making adjustments to the screen, which is pretty awesome. And of course, we have controls. Port 1, you can use a keyboard or you can use a gamepad. I'm using my Logitech Dual Action a gamepad which looks like a PlayStation 2 controller is what it looks like and it works really well with the Vectrix games so that's pretty cool that they included that got your system here you can select what bias you want the original you want fast boot or skip boot you can reset the system or restart the system and of course here's the help which I already clicked on it showed all the information now let's turn on an overlay here real quick so I'm gonna load in the Mindstorm overlay Boop. So right there's Mindstorm. Click. Now you notice the colors change. Now, I don't know why it does that, but you can play these games in a color type mode, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to turn those colors back off, make it look like the original Vetrix. There we go. Isn't that cool? That is so awesome. Let's play a quick game of uh, Mindstorm. So you see how the game reacts. Ooh. I love this game. It's a really cool game that they packed in with the uh, with the Vetrix. It gives you that asteroids type fix. Unfortunately, no, that one had the bug in it. This one, I think at level 13, it would crash. Woo, that was close. So they had to they had to redo the Mindstorm cartridge and they released it on a on a cart called Mindstorm 2 or something like that. I can't remember. I should do research before I make these videos. I'm just too dang excited to show this kind of stuff. So anyway, let's load in one of the games I'm going to be talking about on Vetrix Radio. Uh, Solar Quest. So we're going to load in that ROM. Load the ROM. 
So I'll pick Solar Quest, open. So we go through our little boot up screen again. Pretty awesome. So let's load in its uh, overlay. Now I downloaded this overlay for this game. It didn't come with it. Check it out. Now when I go into the display settings for the overlay itself, I can hide the overlay, see? Overlay off, display, show overlay. Let's go to additional settings, to overlay, bring us down. And I can adjust the wear and tear on the overlay. <laughs> and it's cool. Metalization, you can, you know, control its, its hue and everything. That's pretty cool. You can also control how much, uh, how opaque it becomes. So you make it real dim or you can try to turn up as much as possible. You can see it, but you can still play the game. Put it right about there. That is freaking awesome. And I died. <laughs> End. I was talking. I wasn't playing, you crazy little Vetrix. So let's go ahead and restart the game. Get my mouse out of the way here. And here we go. This is a great game. Die. Bonus points. There we go. So if you get the itch to play a Vectrix you don't have one, this is a really great way. Oh, they're zooming in on me. Zooming in. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I shot it. Uh, don't go into the sun. Uh. Whoa. See, I'm using the gamepad playing this game. It works really well. I can play, I can use the... Uh, Keyboard as well. It plays just as just as nice. Oh, that was close. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, <laughs> awesome! So there, this is uh, Vetrix Online. If you want to give it a try, I'll put a link to the Facebook page Vetrix Fans Unite, so you can go check that out if you're not a member over there. And I'll put a link to the actual files themselves so you can, get, you can download and give it a try. It does require Windows. I'm running in a Windows 10 right here. And it requires DirectX 11 to be installed as well. Miss me. Miss me. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Die, 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 die. Oh. Give up my Atari? My television? How about for this? You bet your asteroids. Presenting the revolutionary Vectrex arcade system. Discover how Vectrex brings real arcade play home. Vectrex. Fantastic. Ordinary home video games can't match the laser-sharp visual effects of Vectrex. Vectrex. Vectrex.